Um, I've known Jim for over 25 years and I've known him to be a very honest and respectful man. When I first had the accident, it never occurred to me that I was injured because I was going so slowly. And I was injured and I called him up and asked him what he thought and he's like, you need to see somebody. And um, he just guided me, you know, since this wasn't working, we went to the chiropractor and then we did the acupuncture and we did the massages and we did um, physical therapy. We did um, everything. I, I can't think of anything we didn't do. I mean, short of, I mean, I actually had needles in my face. So um, we just decided the surgery was the, the end result. And he was really um, impressed with who I picked as doctors. He did not put doctors in front of me. He, um, I found my own doctors and he encouraged me to do so. I never felt I was out in left field with nobody corresponding with me. I always felt I had daily contact sometimes with Judy, um, sometimes hourly contact, and I had her personal cell phone number, and uh, Jim's personal cell phone number, so I, I knew that I was not left by myself to fend for what I needed. I've dealt with other attorneys for other issues and have never received such personal um, assistance. I really felt um, they were in my court the entire time. I feel there's a personal interaction between Jim, Judy, and the clients that he serves. His integrity is, is the same as it's been for the last 25 years. He's very devout to his family, and I think when you take um, all the aspects of his personal life and his professional life, um, people become uh, very comfortable with him. They know he's going to do the best for them that he would for his family.